Hi, I'm Jodie Bradman. I'm a nutritional therapist and I specialize in female health. And today I really wanna to talk to you about how to optimize your nutrition for breastfeeding. So when we're pregnant, we use up so many of our nutrients for growing and developing baby. Then we go on to birth the baby and we use up loads of nutrients during that process. And then we breastfeed and use up even more of our nutrients. So it's absolutely vital to put that stuff back in to fuel our body and help us to feel really good and to have all the milk to feed our baby. Now it's really common that we can have the baby, wanna get back to work, be busy, 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 grab anything we can and really focusing on getting back to pre-baby weight. But in other cultures, it's very much about replenishing and restoring and looking after mum. She's made to rest, she's filled with nourishing soups and stews and really warming foods. And I love that and I wanna bring more of that in because nourishing ourselves is absolutely vital. When we're breastfeeding, we use up about 500 extra calories a day. So we need to make sure that we are getting three main meals and at least two snacks. It is so common to feel hungry during this time, so don't panic, this is perfectly normal. I remember just wanting to eat all the food in the world when I was breastfeeding, so it's okay. The thing is, you want to be opting for good quality foods. When we say, oh yeah, you know what, I'm gonna eat all the cake and I'm gonna grab biscuits and anything in packets, what that's doing is that is high sugar and that is gonna be raising your stress hormones in the body. And when that happens, our milk supply can start to diminish. So instead of grabbing the easy to reach packaged sugary snacks, what we wanna focus on is getting in whole foods. So starchy carbohydrates, whole grains, proper lean proteins, whether that's meat or vegan sources, things like lentils and beans, and also making sure we get in the vegetables and fruits at every meal. Maybe not fruits at every meal, but definitely vegetables. It is so important because that contains fiber as well. That's gonna help get everything moving in our body and stop us from feeling lethargic. In our milk, there is also omega-3, and that is vital for baby's brain development. But what it also means is that we need to be getting it into our diet. So omega-3 is found in oily fish, so things like sardine, wild salmon, and mackerel. So make sure you're including about two portions of fish a week at least. Foods that might affect our milk supply are things like alcohol and caffeine, because that can go into our milk and go to baby. So you really wanna be cautious about how much you're drinking in that respect. I would always err on the side of caution, and if you really wanna be strict, cut it out, but if you feel like you need a glass, then just make sure there is a good few hours between you drinking it and you feeding baby. That is a must. Talking about drinking, making sure that you have enough water and you stay hydrated, that is like the biggest thing you can do. So always have a glass of water on hand. Other foods that can help your milk supply are things like galactagogues, and these are ingredients thought to naturally boost your milk. These are found in oats, brewer's yeast, almonds, flax, and fenugreek. So if you can incorporate those into your daily life, you are good to go. So what does this all look like in a day? Well, you can start the morning with a really nourishing bowl of porridge. Sprinkle on some almonds, throw in some berries, maybe a scoop of protein powder. You can possibly have a snack of an energy ball with dates and nuts or a smoothie. Load it up again with protein powder and maybe some nut butter and fill yourself up with vitamins and minerals in vegetables and fruits. Then let's say you have lunch. Well, you could chuck a sweet potato or a normal potato in the oven, have some tuna or some beans, and that is really, really easy. In the evening, maybe you can look at something like chicken or meat or fish and make sure that half your plate is vegetables because that's where the vitamins and minerals are. So let's recap. Please make sure you're eating regularly. It is so important to fill yourself up on good foods opt for whole natural ingredients, look for galactagogues and those ingredients to bring into your everyday life, try and have oily fish at least twice a week, and please, please stay hydrated.